the discrepancy in numbers is pretty significant. So, I'm going to use a new computer. I'm going to actually put this one in my pocket. It's the giant dash. It took me a little while to get it set up. And that could be the theme of today's ride, what I'm going to talk about. I've had this for months actually and I've just been hesitant to use it because I'm so used to what I usually use, which is Wahoo Element Bolt. And I'm not a real tech savvy guy, so just bear with me. Um, evidently I thought everything was set and then I had to download a map still, so that's, that's taking place right now. 49%, shouldn't be long. It's actually pretty handy to use. It's a lot bigger, than, well, a lot bigger. It's a little bit bigger. It's not got a touch screen. Navigation's pretty intuitive. I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, putting my Wi-Fi code in proved a little bit awkward. Well, not awkward, I just need to think about it again. Um, but uh, that was the only thing I've got to say about the Giant Dash so far. But we'll, we'll see how I go. Tuesday morning, going for a ride. Looks like the rain's just decided to hold off. Uh, the forecast says rain, 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 rain. And now I'm starting to get nervous. I want it to not rain at the end of September in Wollongong. World Championships are coming and I want it to be bloody beautiful. Oh, there she is in all the bloody beauty, the Alexandra sewer, as I like to call it. Ha. So I'm back here again and I've got two cycle computers today. I don't know if I explained that properly while I was just in the mayhem of leaving the office, mayhem, in the confusion, in the, at the time when I forgot my drink bottle, I'll survive my Tuesday morning ride without a drink. Bit of a swell in the bay, so what was I saying? Two cycle computers, right? One showing my preferences. So that's the Wahoo Element Boulder, so I've got it set up. It's the new version and I've got, at the top I've got my power, then I've got my speed, gradient, kilometres, metres climbed, ride time and degrees and it's showing six degrees so my promise of uh, extracting the leg warmers last week and throwing them in the cupboard is void. I've still got them on. And there's nothing wrong with being comfortable. Anyway, hang on, that's so, I'll show you my pages again with my feeble wattage while I just idle along this sort of foreshore. You know, how's your setup? That's roughly how I've had it. And I don't like to sort of deviate from that plan too often. In other words, I like to just basically keep on screen the things that I'm used to. So, that brings me to the next element of this discussion. This, right? Which keeps telling me that It keeps telling me that a bike light that I paired to the computer is critical, but as far as I know, they must be talking about a different light that's in my office and is now critical. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna dismiss that, cancel. And there's my screen, okay? Now, compare and contrast. Well, with the Giant, I'm putting out a lot more power. So, I need to just check which power meter I'm paired to because the discrepancy in numbers is pretty significant. Did you see that? I'll see if I can do it again. Hang on. So, hmm, a lot of, no, actually, there's discrepancy in all of the data. In speed, kilom uh, kilometers, well, I pushed the, the dash a little bit earlier, so that's got a different kilometer count, but ascent, yeah, heaps different. And the dash is telling me that I've climbed 38 meters, while the element tells me 23. Hmm, that's curious. 
uh, I don't know what else it tells me. So I'm just going to get used to this. And I guess that's a product test when you compare and contrast simultaneously, you know, as in use the same product on the same, or different products on the same ride. No brakes because I'm holding the camera and the computer. So, giant dash, work in progress. What's 79%? My battery, and I only just charged that. Like it was full when I left and I haven't really done anything with it. So, hmm, that's all very interesting. I think the analysis will come when I get back to the office. I've got, a, um, I've got, oh, I, don't, I don't know where to begin. I know, let's just see if there's a seal, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna jump up on the wall there and see if I can spot a seal just cause that's sort of my mid-ride amusement. I'll film it just in case I do happen to see one as soon as I turn one. I do. I can see one. Well, right, you just pop this head up. Hang on. Are you interested in seals? Because I can, I can fill you in on the seals of Sydney. There's one down there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, can you see him? He's wiggling his head. I saw him the other day down there, so I know that he kind of likes to hang out in that, uh, behind that concrete bollard. He says walking along. There he is. Hello, buddy. Hello. You see him? He's pretty bloody big, so I'm going to take a photo with my other camera and um, just excite my... Uh, my kids, or no, please my kids, no. My wife actually said she quite liked the seal photo, so I'm gonna take another one and see if I can please her. <laughs> so just while I'm idle, I'll tell you one thing about this sort of little uh, product review experiment thing that I'm doing. I'm not real tech savvy. Like I just said, once I've found my page, no which you can't quite see there, but there is a page. And I've got various, I've just got the one that's like factory setting, and then I just did mine, which is the things that I read out to you. Um, and then every, very, very, every now and again, I do revert to having a look at the maps, but not very often. <coughs> and I think that that's what makes the uh, dash quite interesting. Off the gutter, boof, turn around. I'll go to the turnaround. <laughs> <coughs> So I'm not tech savvy and I just basically want it to work and just um, while well, I've got this beautiful light in front of me and an idle road and no traffic and some stevedores doing some work, I'll just show you. So the fastening is the same as the Wahoo Element Bolt but it's different and I'll show you, you know what I mean, here we go. So 90 degrees difference, but with the dash, the giant dash, hang on my dash currently, the dash that's on my dash. With that, you can run the, um, the picture and the data and the map and everything. Uh, landscape or portrait, that's something different. I think that pile of crates is getting smaller crates, containers. Um, so, what am I showing? All right, I'm confident that it's working now. So I've got an Allen key in my pocket. I might just flip my Allen key at the next, at the next stop. I'm gonna fit that. That new cycle computer, the correct way. So another bike path and just a, another opportunity to try and show you the pages as I've got it set up on my usual. Okay, and back to normal. 
so that's how it, uh, that's what I've been riding for the last oh, two or three years. But this is the new Wahoo Element Bolt. And I basically kept it on this bike, even though I had the dash, because I was expecting these. What I'm trying to show you is the Wahoo for power link pedals with power meter. And I've also got the Wahoo rollers at the office. And um, that's sort of all part of the same ecosystem. So that's what Wahoo's doing, is just trying to make sure that they've got everything covered so that when a new item comes along, come sir. Like, should someone else come out with a product akin to and in the same price bracket as the, the Wahoo product, then you just say, ah, I'm not gonna do it because I'm used to this system. It's kind of like that Apple theory, Macintosh, whatever you wanna call it. A, a, a tech review like you've never had before. So by a complete Luddite, a tech review by a Luddite. I'm not a Luddite. It's just that I don't like fiddling around too much. Once I've got what I want, I just like to keep it. So I've got what I want with this. It's a cute little computer. It gives me all the data I want and probably a whole lot more that I don't exploit. So that's terrific. The dash, oh, I'm on a footpath. I'll keep going a little bit. The dash, it's still telling me about that light, see? It's really, it's really quite obsessed with that light that it can't find. Um, and now it's giving me heaps more data than the other one is, or not data, heaps more numbers, higher numbers, bigger power, and I don't know why, but there's another theme to that. And I'll show you, hang on one second. That's my other power meter. So it's a complicated arrangement. Two power meters, well three if you include one for each pedal, and two cycle computers, and not a great deal of interest in the data that all of that collects, but I'm, I use it anyway, you know, I do collect it, and I do upload to Strava. So I'll <coughs> see how intuitive the upload from my first experience with the giant dash goes and I'll report in later.